Amen. It's maybe small right now, but we're looking for it to get bigger. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a man of faith. I believe in amen, amen. just because things are not what they are right now. It's the way they're not going to always be. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The scripture tells us to despise not small beginnings. Amen. So he wants us to look ahead. Amen. 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 So I'm looking at a big production, TV production. Amen. 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 Come on, those things that be not as though they are. Amen. The reason they don't come because we don't call them into being. Amen. Listen, there's power in your words. Amen. The scripture says life and death is in the power of the tongue. And I believe that it cannot come unless you speak it into being. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Let's go to the Word of God. Are you happy? Found Daniel. Yes. Daniel, the third chapter, and beginning at the 20th verse. Daniel, the third chapter, and beginning at the 20th verse. If you're there, say amen. 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 The Word of God says, And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats and hosts and their hats and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot. The flame of the fire slew those <coughs> men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, y'all got the names now? Amen. Meshach, and what? Amen. Abednego fell down bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. Come on, say loose. Loose. Walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these words that you've given us, and we ask, for yes. God, that you will anoint us, and we may be able to bring forth your word. Anoint our ears that we may hear, yes. and anoint our hearts that we may receive. Yes. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We want to talk about this morning, amen, on a subject about the fiery furnace. Amen. The fiery furnace. Come on, say the fiery furnace. The fiery furnace. Amen. The fiery furnace. Amen. Nebuchadnezzar had a furnace. In other words, it was called uh, what we call an incinerator. Uh -huh. And, and incinerators are things that burn up uh -huh. everything that is in the fire. Uh -huh. and I remember many, many years ago when I graduated from mortuary school, or right before we graduated, we had a chance to go to uh, an incinerator where people were cremated. And it was something, Brother G, that I never, ever will forget in my life how that fire that came from all over the place came and just uh, uh, just burned up uh, 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 human remains. I never will forget that. And as I was speaking here today and as I was reading the subject, I was thinking about this passage of scripture about the fiery furnace of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Trying to do the right thing, but yet they got thrown in the fire. Amen. Amen. Under Nebuchadnezzar. And they did, he did that because Nebuchadnezzar built a statue. Uh -huh. And he wanted everybody in the kingdom to bow down to him. Amen. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew who to worship. Amen. 
he they knew their God. Uh -huh. And the thing was, it said that whosoever shall not bow shall be thrown into the fiery furnace. Uh -huh. But even though they knew the consequence, they still would not bow. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, regardless of what the world says and what the law says, we have to obey God rather than man. Amen. Even though the consequence may be there, we should not worry because if God brought us to it, he will definitely bring us through it. Whatever situation. And so, as I begin to look at this, I not only want to focus just about uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but I want to mostly focus on the fiery furnace. Uh -huh. And that many times we are living in a fiery furnace. Oh, yeah. Amen. And many of us today have lived in a fiery furnace. Uh -huh. It may not be the furnace as we see here in the books, but in life itself is a firy furnace. Uh -huh. Anyone know what I'm talking about today? Yeah. Have anybody yeah. ever gone through some situations? Yeah. If you have not, just keep on living. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, as yeah. long as you live, yeah. you're going to go through some things. Yeah. You're going to go through some trouble in life. Yes. And not only going through trouble, but some of us are going through them right now. Uh, right now. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. I'm talking about going through a fiery furnace. I'm talking about sitting at the bedside of a loved one that's getting ready to pass away. Knowing that if it had not, if God don't step in, you know that they will pass away. I'm talking about a fiery furnace. I'm talking about uh, watching bills mount up into hundreds and tens of dollars trying yes. to pay your bills. Yes. I'm talking about watching everything you work for going out the window. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, a fiery furnace. A fiery furnace. Not only that, but I'm talking about a fiery furnace that's being worn that is unemployed. Mm -hmm. And they're being unemployed so long that not only have they received shut-off notices, but also they receive notices saying that it's time for you to get out the house. Yeah. I'm talking about a fiery furnace. I'm talking about a furnace that that it's uh, that it's that bad relationship, amen, that's not getting any better. I'm talking about a fiery furnace that you may lose uh, on your job. Your boss is always harassing you. I'm talking about a spouse that, that wants a divorce because you keep living for God. Yeah. I'm talking about a fiery furnace. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about a furnace that maybe your sons and your daughters may be hooked on drugs. Uh -huh. I'm talking about a fiery furnace this morning. Yeah. I'm talking about a fiery furnace that you made that some mother may find out that the daughter just got pregnant. Yeah. Hello, look at somebody say a fiery furnace. A fiery furnace. Hallelujah. So many times in life we find ourselves in a fiery furnace. And if we look around today, it seems like that all of us is in some kind of furnace. Seems like if one thing is happening, then something else is happening. If it's not one thing, then it's another. And somebody may ask and say, well, can it get any worse? Can the pain get any worse? Can it get any help? Well, Pastor, come to tell you today that yes, it can get a little bit hot. Oh, yeah. And yes, it can get a little bit worse. Yes. Just like it was with the three Hebrew boys. Oh, yeah. They thought that it was going to get worse by being in the fire. But the Bible said that, that Nebuchadnezzar was so hot because of their circumstances, because of their stance. The Bible said that he told the men to turn up the furnace seven times. How? I don't know about you, but have you have you ever? 
right about it here. Sometimes it seems like that we're going to be killed in the fire. And sometimes Brother Jackson is saying, well, Lord, might as well just go on and take me out. Because my situation is not getting any better. Well, I'm reminded of Malachi, of Micah 3 and 2 and 3. For the Bible says, but who may abide the day of his coming? Uh -huh. And who shall stand when he appears? Oh, yeah. For he is like a refiner's fire. Oh, yeah. And he shall sit as a refiner to purify. Uh -huh. Purify silver. Mm -hmm. And he shall purify the sons of Levi. Oh, yeah. And purge them as gold. Come on, say purge them. Purge them. As gold. As gold. It says I'm going to purge them as gold and silver. That they may offer up the Lord an offering in righteousness. Uh -huh. What Michael was saying is that God got you in the fire. Uh -huh. It's not by accident that God had you in the fire. Uh -huh. It's not by accident that God had you in this situation. Uh -huh. It's not by accident that things may not be going right in your life this morning. But God says, as I purify the silver and the gold, God said, I'm going to purify my people. That they can offer up a perfect praise. See, some people can't really praise God unless they go through something. We can come here and everything may be all right. But I guarantee you let something happen to you. You find people praying that never prayed before. People start praising God like they never prayed God, praised God before. The Bible says here, it says that I'm going to purify my people. I'm going to purge them as gold. And that they may offer up unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. And it says one thing about gold. No matter how hot you make gold, you can't destroy it. No matter how hotter the furnace gets, you can't burn it up. The hotter it gets, the purer the gold. And what happened, why I'm feeling good right now, what happened is why the, why the gold is in the furnace. What it's doing is burning up the impurities. It's burning up all kind of chemicals. It's burning up all kind of bad minerals. It's burning up all kind of deposits that's hooked up on the gold. And if they really want to get the fine gold, they got to put it in the fire. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying here. God said, I want to get the praises from my people. Because they're walking in disobedience. They're walking in slackness. God said, I want to get the praises of my people. But before I get the praises out of my people, I'm going to let them go through something. I said, I'm going to let them go through something. Because they're eased inside. They have sealed homes. They got food on the table. Thank you. 
That's that part of the crown. The scripture says, when the king threw the three men in there, it was so hot that the people that threw you in, they got burned up. Don't worry about folks that's trying to burn you. trying to get over to you. The fiery furnace. Don't jump out the fire. But stay there in the fire. Why? Because God He's right there with you. He said I'll never leave you. And I'll never forsake you. The scripture said that the king couldn't sleep all night but he was worried. Whatever happened to those three Hebrew boys. Whatever happened Shadrach He got up that next morning and he looked in there. Uh -huh. Then he looked again. <laughs> and he said, there must have been a miscalculation. Wait, wait. Uh -huh. Turn around and told the, the, the commissioners of the, the commanders. He said, didn't we put in three? Oh, yes. But as I look here, he said, yes, yeah, okay. We put in three. He said, but I see four. And the fourth one. Looks like, walks like, prays like, dance like the Son of God. In other words, it looks like Jesus. Baby, I want to let you know, you can dance in the fire as long as God is with you. You can shout in the fire. So I come to let you know today, it's time to shout. If you're in the fire, it's time. Somebody say the fire is hot. Yes. 
Pastor said this morning, whatever situation you're going through, you can come out. Mm -hmm. Why? Because God is right there with you. Mm -hmm. The scripture says they was walking around in the hot, yes. in the furnace. Mm -hmm. And the scripture said when they came out, they say they smoke. The smoke of the clothes didn't even smell like smoke. God will bless you to go through some things. And you'll come out and don't even look like it. What you've been through. There's a song that says, I don't look like what I've been through. Some people they say, Brother Johnson, you look good. You look that baby. You don't know what I've gone through. See, some of the reason I realize the reason God brings you through something is not just for you, but it's for somebody else. The things you go through, you wouldn't have lost your mind. You wouldn't have did all these other things, but God allowed you to go through it. And now you are able to go through it to turn around and to tell somebody else, baby, if I can make it, you can make it also. Oh, yes, yes. God said you can make it. And I heard, boy, I'll tell you a full song. So that's where everyone stands. There's a little song saying, Brother G, help me when he said, I never could have made it. I never would have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see you were there for me. So I'll say, never could have made it. I never would have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see you were there for me. So I'll say I'm stronger. Yeah. 
good. And the last verse says this, and I'm finished. Hebrews 13 and 5. It says that you may say in that day that the Lord is my helper. God said, I'm building up a testimony. So when you look back where you come from, you can say it was nobody but God. Fiery furnace. It gets a little hot. But don't try to get out of the fire. Just stay in there. Because he's burning up some things that you don't need in order to go to the next level. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? See, just like you're trying to go to another position, you got to make sure you learn everything on this first level. Yes. Before you can be promoted to that second level. Yes. See, if you're mean and hateful on, on level one, and if you get promoted, guess what's going to happen? You will be mean and hateful on level two. Yes. Sister said mean. <laughs> but what God does, he wants to clean all that stuff and burn all that stuff up from, from this level. In order for you to operate on the next level. That may be somebody here today. They say, Pastor, maybe I'm going through some things, but I'm going to trust in God. Yes. There may be somebody here saying, well, you know what? I don't know the Lord. Mm -hmm. Seems like I'm in the fire and seems like I haven't been living right, I haven't been doing right. And I need to come to the Lord. I've been in the fire. Mm -hmm. And I need to come to the Lord. Oh, yeah. My life is not right. Mm -hmm. I need to accept Jesus as my personal Savior. Oh, yeah. And I come to let you know that even though you're in the fire, the Lord loves you enough. The scripture said, while we were yet sinners, he died for us. He shed his blood for us. I want to let you know God loves you so much. He loves you just the way you are. But he loves you too much to leave you the way you are. He wants to change your life. He wants to change your heart. He wants you to accept him into your life. The scripture says, If thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, but with the mouth salvation is made. Your confession is made unto salvation. The gift of God is for you and it's for each and every one of you. Jesus died on the cross and he rose again just for you. If that's you I'm talking to, I want you to come. If that's you I'm talking to, I want you to come. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for your word. We thank you for what our ears have heard and what our hearts have received. We thank you, Father, for the people of God here at Olive Grove. Father, we ask that what we may do as David said, Father, teach us your word and that we may hide your words in our heart. That we may not sin against you. That as we're going through the fire, as we're going through our temptations, and as we're going through these trials, Father, remind us that you're right here with us. And you're going to be with us. Teach us what you need, what we need to know from these trials and these things, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for loving us, yes. keeping us, yes. and blessing us. Oh, yes. We give your name the praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. 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 Amen.